Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you another awesome high growth treatment that can add to your regimen to help with moisture and also to help thicken your hair. So if you're interested, please make sure you keep on watching and watch till the end so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now to begin with, we are going to need some flax seeds. So I'm using golden flax seeds. I got this from Amazon, but feel free to use whatever flax seeds you may have available. So for this, I'm using two tablespoons of flax seeds and I'm adding about two glasses of water. Now after that guys, I'm going to pop the whole thing on the stove and allow it to boil for about five minutes or until you notice that the liquid is starting to become a bit slimy. Then take it off the stove and we're going to go ahead and strain it while it's still hot. Now it's easier to strain while this is still hot just because of the fact that it becomes a gel once it has completely cooled down and it can make the straining process just a little bit harder. You can still do it but it will be, it's just easier to do it while it's still hot. So get a regular sieve, pour the whole thing on there and allow it to just you know drain and essentially after it's cooled down it will become jelly like but i was i didn't want this to be like too jelly so if you want your flax seeds to be really jelly then leave it on the stove for a little bit longer to reduce properly so this texture was just enough for what i wanted to go for next i'm adding two tablespoons of corn starch this is just to help thicken this because i wanted to have a kind of conditioner sort of consistency right so add the cornstarch stir it until it's properly combined now the spoon wasn't doing it for me guys so I had to go for this because it was a lot easier um, or you can even use your hands if you want to like your fingers and basically um, combine it well together so after it's nicely combined we will go ahead and transfer it into a little pan and then we're going to pop it on the stove just to allow the whole thing to thicken up even more so this is the kind of consistency that i had initially you can use this straight away if you want to guys but it will be more like a spray um so when you allow it to thicken it's more like a conditioner essentially so we're going to pop this on the stove and stir gradually until the whole thing thickens up it's important that once it's on the stove guys that you stay there and you stir continually so that it does not give any lumps because if it has lumps you may have to strain it again to get rid of the lumps so stir and then as it keeps getting hotter and hotter it will start to thicken up just like you're gonna see in a little bit and once that's done guys this will literally take you less than two minutes to do honestly it's very quick so once it's done take it off the stove and then we're going to go ahead and add in some other stuff. Now as you can see here, it is starting to thicken up. So once I've got it nice and thick, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the stove and transfer it into a bowl. Now this is the consistency that we have while it has completely cool down and it seems to be just a little bit thicker than what I was going for but not to worry we're gonna go ahead and add some oil so I'm using my homemade aloe vera hair growth oil I've got this on my website if you're interested if you haven't got this guys please use olive oil or even avocado oil so I'm adding two tablespoons next I'm going in with some honey Honey is a natural humectant and this helps to draw the moisture from the atmosphere into your hair. So it really helps with keeping your hair super moisturized for a long time. So I added one teaspoon of that and then I'm going to go ahead and stir the whole thing until everything is nice and combined. Now 
now this is the consistency that I had you can see it's still very thick so I'm adding some water I will be adding water gradually and then mix add water again until I get the desired texture now if you want it to be pretty runny it's fine to use more water but I will suggest you add gradually so you don't end up watering down too much so just so I can see here I'm just going little by little until I obtain the desired texture that I was going for now this texture right here is the perfect texture for me this is what I wanted it to be like because I'm going to use this I was going to use this for my daughter's hair um, as a deep conditioner right after shampooing her hair so her hair was going to be pretty wet already anyway so I didn't need something that was going to be too runny because essentially that was just going to fall off her hair so this is our hair guys i'm just uh, we're just in the shower washing our hair i have shampooed her hair at this point and i'm just using this to deep condition and basically help to strengthen her hair so i parted it into three sections just like myself i wash her hair in sections it's just easier as well when it comes to detangling because her hair is getting longer and slightly thicker as well so um it's just easier for me to wash in sections just because yeah it's more manageable and it's less painful for her as well so because it was already in sections i'm just applying on each individual section so i'm starting from the roots all the way to the end i'm making sure that it is properly applied and massage well onto the hair so after i finish on one section guys i'm gonna go ahead and twist that section and then move on to the next and repeat until her hair is completely done it's only three sections so it didn't really take that long but so far applying this to her hair felt really nice the hair was really smooth and yeah it just felt really really good and even after i washed this out of her hair guys it felt really good as well so i hope you guys will go ahead and try it out if you made it to this point of the video and you still haven't liked it please go ahead and give the video a like and also please subscribe to the channel if you're not already guys i would really appreciate that so at this point i had finished applying it to her hair just like you can see here so i'm gonna go ahead later on and put on a shower cap on um this is just to allow heat to penetrate the hair and do his thing while I give her a shower and then essentially I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off with just warm water once it's finished doing its thing really so you can leave it if you're using it for your hair for about 45 minutes for an hour like I always say and then rinse it off with just warm water guys I'm gonna show you what her curls look like afterwards so this is her hair after it has been washed out and I really loved it because it was so moisturized and you can see her curls were really really popping like honestly just amazing so i hope that you guys will go ahead and try this out whether it's for you or your little one i'm sure you will love it so this brings me to the end of the video if you have enjoyed watching please thumbs up the video also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already and i'll catch you in the next one bye